Hey guys, this is Kevin here at Hidden Heights Farm and the time has come to give you guys some sad news about something that has happened here on the farm. So if you guys follow us on our Facebook page, you probably already know that our livestock guardian dog, Bear, passed away yesterday. So with heavy with a heavy heart, I'm telling you guys uh, on this video, uh, it's going to be a short video. Um, he passed away yesterday as I was trying to end a video, so that's why yesterday's video was pretty short. Um, I was coming out here to bring the baby chicks out of the shop to put into the brooder with the rest of the chickens and turkeys. And I seen Bear laying there just barely breathing, not really responsive at all. So I called Rachel and got her out here and we called the vet immediately. Uh, we were trying to call the emergency vet to get out here to... Uh, see if they could help us out with him and uh, they were on their way and it was just too late uh, while I was on the phone with them he actually passed and he was bloated pretty bad and I was telling the vet the symptoms of what was wrong and she said from what I was explaining to her the symptoms sounded like it was a twisted stomach uh, I just seen him yesterday morning he was perfectly fine like he's been every other day but when I came out here, he was just barely breathing and uh, he didn't last long. Me and Rachel was able to be with him as he drew his last breath, but he's gone. So we are in search for a new livestock guardian dog and uh, the journey will continue here on the farm with the goats. But we get dogs like Bear is, you know, everybody has a dog that they uh, consider family pretty much. And to have one that lived out here with the goats and not in the house with us and we still considered a part of our family, that means a lot. And he's not replaceable. There's no way in the world we could ever replace him with another dog. Although we do have to get a dog to try to replace him with to guard our animals. But he was one of a kind for sure. So we got him buried here in uh, one of his favorite spots that he laid on this small pasture. So right here behind me right here on the hillside he he always liked laying underneath the shade tree and just laying here relaxing while the goats graze and done their thing um so that's that's his final resting place we got him buried immediately after he passed but i wanted to just uh make this short little video and let all the viewers know what happened and uh that he won't be on any more videos i know a lot of you guys really enjoyed seeing bear on the videos uh, he was a big part of our farm and i think he was a big success on uh, helping us get this youtube started everybody always wanted to know about bear and see more content on bear and he was easy to make videos with and uh i'm going to share some pictures and some uh, video clips with you guys if you guys want to watch after this feel free to watch it uh it might be a little long like 10 minutes or eight minutes or something but i just felt like needed to tell you guys uh rachel put it on the facebook yesterday but anyways he will be missed and uh if anyone around northeast oklahoma or a couple hours around here anyways if anyone knows of anyone with a established uh, livestock guardian dog male or female let us know uh puppies we're looking for a puppy as well now uh, male or female preferably male and we want one raised with goats born in the pasture with goats and chickens that are used to them already so if you guys know of any uh send us an email or leave a comment and uh guys sorry to have to break the sad news to you so check out this video with the pictures of bear and some of the video clips that i put in as well
This is Bear. He's a 7 8 Great Pyrenees, 1 8 Anatolian Shepherd. He wants his belly scratched. Yeah, scratch your belly, but good boy. Scratch his belly. He's having a good nap. Babies think they can just jump all over him. What do you think about that, Bear? Are you getting a massage from the baby goats? These guys are running around like crazy now. What do you think about those babies, Bear? Bear's eight or nine years old. He's been doing this for several years now, so he's he's used to the babies using him as a play toy. He likes the attention, I think. Bear, I think those babies think you're their daddy. All right, Bear, you feel better since you got a haircut? Hmm? All right, I'll let you eat, buddy. What do you know, Bear? You doing okay, Bear? What do you know, Bear, Bear? Hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Our channel Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Rachel. And I'm Kaya. And I'm Kayla. And before we go any further, I am going to ask you guys if you are not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. Hey, Bear. Come here, buddy. Bear wasn't feeling too good yesterday, but I think he's doing better today. You feeling better, bud? Huh? Feeling better, Bear? Bear, come on. Here, buddy. Say hi, Bear. Bear, say hi. Come here. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Yeah, you look at it. Come on. Look at that camera. Look at it. Tell them, Bear. Stay organized. Alright guys, apologize. So we didn't have a real long video today, but the weather wasn't great this morning when I started building that fence. I was going to film more of it, but it started pouring down and I just wanted to get it done while I had the day off. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and like always, we'll see you next time. There's old Bear. What do you think, Bear? You don't like being on camera, do you? Surprise, it's working. Yesterday, this would not work. He would not even eat any food at all. He even went and bought him some special canned food. He didn't want no part of it. So if you guys ever have problems, uh, dogs taking pills. Try to hide them in a hot dog. That's the easiest way we found that works. Boy, Barry, you feeling better, huh? You feeling better today? That medicine's helping you, bud. So thank you, guys. And you can see that he... Princess. Stop! Seriously? Princess. Oh. Or 
Maybe it could be a gorse. It's a gorse. She said, Mom! Make sure. It's okay. <laughs> Bear Bear always does that. Hey, Bear, what's up, brother? What's up? <laughs> Sorry, guys. He, the goats keep hitting the camera. You ready to get your hair done? Huh? All right, there's Bear, the dog that won't eat out of a bowl, but he'll eat off the dirty ground. All right, Bear, everybody keeps asking, how's Bear? Where's Bear? They want to see Bear in the videos. How you been feeling, boy? Huh? Come here. You don't like cameras, do you? No. Bear's been doing excellent. Got his new tick collar on. Gave him the Brevecto tablet for the ticks and fleas. And he's glad that the warm weather's here. So I'm over here to feed Bear, and he was sitting over there towards the hillside watching the goats. They're all down the hill eating again, and uh, he was kind of just watching out for them. At his old age, I don't expect him to go down the hill too much himself, or want him to. If the goats get scared, they'll just run back. So, But I'm sure if he sees any predators or anything down there, he will be down there in a quick flash. Come here, Bear. Let's go eat. Come on, boy. She's about to get attacked by these chickens because she's fixing to feed Bear. Alright, come on sis. Let Bear eat it. <laughs> 